Hey guys, shut this thing off here. There, I can talk to you. Oh uh, yeah, we can. You can bake bread out in this barn here. Look at my temperature in this barn here. I got one here. It's got a little probe hanging here. A little little Mickey Mouse uh, battery one. 101, 101.8. 101.5 102 so basically the same this is the controller for the unit now we fit I started on my son and I started on this thing this morning about nine o'clock and we got about two hours in it but then the rest of the time that was putting all the goodies in here rest of the time was uh, testing test driving it and what we found I bought a ceramic reptile uh, heater this is ceramic this is porcelain and then the the reptile heater element was porcelain that was total overkill for this box total that is a little standard light bulb 40 water this thing guys from I've got my temperature set here where I want it to to uh, peak out at 94 degrees right now you can see it's 101 in this thing that's what it's in here this so it wouldn't work but guess what i got this is my old actually this is my old taxidermy shop here and this is my workbench i'll be doing grafting right here my cut my stuff some of my stuff came in today uh yeah i'll be doing my grafting right here and uh, but we've got to get this changed out this thing fried it ran about three years and it kept this little building here it kept a decent decent temperature working temperature in here but I've got to get this thing what I'm going to do is jerk this thing out here and put a new wall unit in and I'll keep this barn running about I'm going to keep this thing running in here about probably 90 degrees 85 or 90 degrees in here and uh, that way you know it can shut down and fire up and just keep it just just a good temperature for grafting and all that this thing i had a one degree difference so if i set the high end at 94 to cut out i want it kicking in at 93 but when this thing shuts off that 40 watt bulb guys took 60 seconds from 93 to 94 to kick out 60 seconds is all it takes with a little old 40 watt these things are got so much insula insulation it's unreal in them uh, i drilled we drilled a 3 8 hole here uh i may drill more later on maybe one down here but i only drill one here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen holes in that sucker all right and uh that uh that seemed to work we kept popping holes and experimenting and uh that is about the bright number now if you can get this get this ambient room temperature down to say you know anywhere from 80 80 to 85 uh then this unit will work in here it's 101 as you can see you're you're cooking queens you get over 96 you're going to start killing queens so obviously i can't do a thing in here with this incubator until i get this ac unit changed out but this was a good build i got uh we had well the the ceramic heater that was i think twelve dollars and he's sending that back uh i had 92 dollars total in goodies but there was a 12 dollar cord that he got that's going back because this cord this heavy cord I got back here came from this unit. So uh, I'm going to unplug this thing because we're not doing anything with it until we change out the AC unit. But here's what I've got. I've got this will take, I made this little special frame up. Now this is something to start with. 
because I've got these homemade cages here and you'll see their screen on both sides of these cages these won't be introduction cages these are going to just be banking cages uh, I may set up a, a hair roller cages but in the and, and this will take four of these frames. I've already checked it. I can there's eight there, so there'd be 32 queens you could put in here. All right. Then you could add hair roller cages and a nice ledge back here. There is a computer fan in here, 12 volt. There is the probe for this unit here, control unit. That's the probe. Uh this is a porcelain, by the way. This isn't the cheap plastic bases. That get a, if you're going to do this, put a porcelain one in here, so you don't have a melting issue, whatever. But 40 watt bulb, you know, it's not going to be much. These are kind of cool here. See these plastic thing, peel and stick. I've got them on this computer fan too, and. Uh, We'll see how they go. That one just loosened up there. They may not work. The heat the heat may loosen them up. But it just kind of held things together. You just peel and stick and you can run zip ties through it. So uh, let me turn this thing around here. Once you get the once you guys get the air com the uh, compressor out of this thing, it weighs nothing. It weighs absolutely nothing. Here's a here's a strip that that's part of that $92 deal. <laughs> you know, just a plug-in strip. This is the, uh, it's a 12-volt fan in there. So this little box here converts 12, 110 to 12 volt. And uh, this is the, this is, this is going, this line here is going through that same hole where that power cord is going through. So, yeah, this little build went great. For a small time guy, small time, you can raise all the queens you guys want with a little unit like this. It worked out fantastic. See, and right here, right here is where the, the old control was, thermostat control for the, for the wine cooler. And so we popped the main line through to this bulb. And uh, what we did is spliced, cut the wire, spliced it, and passed it through these small holes here. This is actually made for a cutout in a ceiling. And uh, so you just needed the two wires for that. Very simple build. There's the, there's the uh, computer fan. It comes back down here and punches through that hole and goes back around over here to the back to the other thing. <coughs> so once you're... Uh, once you're stripped, you got everything plugged into that. <clears throat> you plug it into this leg here. And then this leg coming out of the unit goes into your wall. Very, very simple rig. And uh, so that's the build. Thought I'd show you that. She's going to work fantastic. I just was really surprised at the R factor on these things. And it took, once it built up, to, uh, it only took 60 seconds for that thing to heat this box up to 94 degrees. And, and it went, the light went off, and it took 45 minutes for it to even start clicking down, for it to even start coming down. But we were in a 90 degree garage when I, we were doing uh, doing this thing. It was 90 degrees in that in that building. So you know you'll have a little bit more action when I get this AC unit running. And you want it fairly hot, so you know it's just to knock off the heat in here. Now I could rip this thing out of here, take this fan, put put maybe quarter inch hardware cloth on that and let it blow out and then come to this window over here and crack this window open and let it get come through it may drop it but i don't think it's going to drop it's just too hot here in florida it's it's like uh yeah it's like working in hell hell heat all right guys that's it for now i'm going to uh demo this ac unit and get my tape measure on that thing and then maybe take a trip to Lowe's 
see what they got down there to throw in this hole and get her cooled down buddy catch you on the next one be happy be strong because we got to keep getting her on see ya